Ow. Any day I can draw a summonable monster. That'd be pretty pog. Just any time now. Okay. Sorry, I asked. I made sure like 20, like half of my deck was monsters that can be summoned, but just can't draw any of them. Do you, you so you have like nine Roid monsters in your deck and then just spells and traps. Is, is that what's happening right now? I'm, I'm going to lose it. I'm about to lose it. None of this would be happening if this stupid game would just give me Arm Dragon level five. I, this kid didn't even get lucky. I just got unlucky. Like I cannot believe how unlucky I was in that duel. Holy cow. My the my draw order was absolutely abysmal. It honestly could not have been much worse. Could not have been much worse than that. Okay, game. I am literally begging you. I l I just need one card. Just give me Arm Dragon level 5. This deck will become so much better. Like, incredibly better. If I just have literally just Arm Dragon level 5. So I can actually use the Arm Dragons. It's, it's the one card I need. Is Arm Dragon level 5. Thank you for the cheer, Orpheus. Greatly appreciated. Welcome to stream. Thank you. Oh, another element dragon. That can go in the deck. Will you please, for the love of all that is holy, give me arm dragon level five? I'm, I'm actually about to hack in arm dragon level five. I'm actually about to look up an action replay code specifically for arm dragon level five. This is getting stupid. I hate RNG in games. Finally! Holy cow! A usable pack! At long frigging last. Okay. It's gonna be easier to look at this like this. Get rid- you know what? Wrong button. Empty the whole thing. Step one. Dragons. You, you, three of you, three of you, one of you. You're still restricted in this game, huh? I'm pretty sure you changed to semi-restricted in Reverse of Arcadia, and then I think you're unrestricted in Over the Nexus. I have more element dragons than I realized. Three of you, 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 you. Okay. This is four tribute monsters. Maximum amount of tribute monsters reached. What What are you? You're a five star monster? No. Dragon Ice. You're d interesting, but also probably no. One to four star monsters next. Give me you. Do I want tuners at all? Keep the calculator for now. You're really good defensively. Dark Valkyrie has been good for us. Giant Cephalotus has been pretty good. Grandmaster Sasuke is a good card. Instantly destroys defense positions. Give me you, and then give me... Where's Krebons? I'll take the Psychic Tuners. I'm going to leave out Tuner Warrior, or whatever his name was. I, I forgot the alphabet. Excuse me, I don't know where K is. There it is. 23? 23 monsters, 4 tributes. 
That's fine. Probably. Let's see what spells and traps we end up with. See you later, Jet. Enjoy your shopping. Thanks for coming to stream. Can you get me groceries too while you're out? Okay, thanks. Both of these. This. This. Um, what else do I want here? Nobleman of Cross out. Shield Crush. Soul Taker is really useful. Can get you out of a jam. Compulsory Evacuation can be really good. like cost down because I don't like having to discard a card for it. I find that it's not usually worth it, but let's let's try it. Let's try it. Did I get any of the level cards yet? No. Where is level up? I need a level up. L is going to be higher. There it is. And then... Premature Burial is banned is so unfortunate. I was hoping it wouldn't be banned in this game. Because I know it's banned in the other two. Or at least I'm pretty sure it's banned in the other two. Is it? Is it restricted in Over the Nexus? I don't think it is. I'll take Raigeki Break. Where is... What is it called? Return from the Fourth Dimension or whatever? Or maybe it's THE Return? The Graveyard in the Fourth Dimension. Two of them. Two of those... Destroys a monster, destroys a face down, destroys defense position. Compulsory evacuation, Raigeki break. Soul taker. Book of life is the zombie specific one. Uh, I don't know what else I want here. Hammer shot could actually be good. Do I want two of those? I feel like I should have more traps, but none of these traps are really speaking to me. Kunai with Chain is pretty good. It's good enough. Give me a hammer shot. Let's try this. I almost hit empty again. Keep the name simple. Armed horse. Alright. We are still severely lacking in two things. First thing, more Dragon's Rage. Only having one of them sucks. And then the main thing we're suffering in right now is that I don't have Stamping Destruction. Stamping Destruction would send this deck over the moon in my opinion. That's what we really need, is stamping destruction. I also still don't know where I'm going for the story. Like, at all. Stardust Accelerator has a lot more repeat character models than over the Nexus and Reverse of Arcadia do, by the way. This is like the third dude we've seen with this character model who is just like a small color swap. Like a different hair color, slightly different skin tone. Yeah, over the Nexus is the 5Ds game where you're on a team with the Scrap Duelist and the Watts Duelist, yeah. That is over the Nexus, the third in this, uh, this trilogy of DS games. You could call it. Yo, check it out, level up. Ugh, oh, Arm Dragon level 5. At long last. It's so nice. Imagine having to special summon your Cyber Dragon in defense mode. No! Why did you summon Cyber Dragon in defense mode? If you had United We Stand. I mean, it's because I have Dust Tornado, but still.
I was really hoping you wouldn't do this. Because I could have used the... Oh, you have Honest. That's even worse, actually. <sighs> Honest is... I've talked about this before in Spirit Caller, and there are gonna be people who are like, oh, it's not actually, it's not that good. It's not that good. I hate Honest. It is one of my least favorite cards in existence. I wish that card did not exist. I absolutely despise Honest. die. Wow, old man says no. And the AI actually used it. This guy had the greatest starting hand of all time. I'm pretty sure there was literally nothing I could have ever done to won this duel. To won this duel? To win this duel. Words. He sacked Cyber Dragon. Ow. I hate Honest so much. What is happening? If I could delete Honest from Yu-Gi-Oh! History, as well as the Blackwing card that does the same thing, or basically the same thing, I would I would delete it out of Yu-Gi-Oh! History in a heartbeat. Like, it immediately. I would immediately, I would not hesitate to press that button. Like, if you press this button, you can remove Honest and the Blackwing Honest card from History. I would click the button without even hearing the rest of the conversation. I would immediately delete them. Like, gone. Instantly. If you control no monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. When this card is special summoned- Can you get your stupid thing out of the way so I can read, you idiot? This card cannot be destroyed by battle. If this card attacks or is attacked, remove a counter from this card at the end of the damage step if you can't destroy it. Okay, so you just- You threw hard by- Unless you have a card to special summon that back. You've kind of thrown by sacking Cyber Dragon for, uh, no reason. What has traumatized you like this? It's not traumatized. It's that the card sucks and is unfun. It's an incredibly unfun garbage card that the game would be better without. Wow, okay, you just get to summon a 1500 attack point token, that's really cool. I don't think there's anything I can draw here that stops me from losing. Definitely not that. If he doesn't draw... No, he's gonna get to use this thing's effect again, isn't it? Yeah, I just lose. I... I... I, I don't think a Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonist in the anime could have beaten that hand. He, he drew every card perfectly. Oh wait, he might be throwing. Mm, attack with the stronger one first. Okay, I think he just threw. Depending on if I actually draw a good card, that is. His ace card is actually just a bad card, but he keeps wanting to use it. There's nothing I can do if he draws every card he needs every single turn, but I never draw anything useful. Never draw anything that can actually be used in the moment. Yeah, he drew- he, all he had to do there was draw a monster, and he drew a monster. Wow, that's really cool. That's really cool, dude. Really, really awesome. Really nice top deck. Game literally cheated and uh, set your deck to where you drew every card you needed perfectly every single time you needed it. Really awesome. Why didn't he tribute someone using the token? Because the, the the token literally says you can't use it for a tribute, is why. That was so stupid. He top decked every perfect card he needed to win that duel. I can't believe that he had- I can't believe he had that opening hand and then also still had Solemn Judgment on top of it. Like, the fact that he had Solemn Judgment and the AI actually used it with so many life points is 
the most shocking part of that entire exchange. Cannot believe that happened that way. This sucks. I've never heard of this card before. I can't believe there's a 1700 attack card that is just like, yeah, if it defeated a monster, you get a 1500 attack token that immediately gets to attack. That's actually a little insane to me. That seems really good. Well, we're getting Arm Dragon level 5, at least. Do I level up to level 7 here? and use level 7 to destroy both of them instantly, even though I might then immediately get hit with an annoying trap? Eh, why not? Why not take a crazy chance? Why not do a crazy dance? Let me make sure I remember how this works. By sending one monster card from your hand to the graveyard, destroy all face-up monsters on your opponent's side of the field with attack equal to or less than the attack of the sent monster. Activate. Horus, level eight. Perfect. I'm gonna put you face down in case I get hit with like mirror force or something here. Very surprised that he didn't just immediately hit me with solemn judgment. All right, this has worked out very well. He did not top deck all of his perfect cards this time. This is the second duel to- not this duel, but the duel immediately preceding this against the same guy. This is the second duel we've had today where the opponent perfectly top decked everything and just won. I'm amazed that it happened twice. I cannot believe he summoned Shining Angel and then hit it with United We Stand just to destroy my Blazing and Patchy. That's annoying. I wish I had Heavy Storm. It's not original attack, so I can't use your ability here, which sucks. I'm glad that other face down wasn't stump uh, something that could actually stop me. I had to attack here, because if he drew another monster next turn and summoned it, then United We Stand would have let him destroy, uh, my arm dragon. I hope there are not many decks with Honest in this game. I remember in Over the Nexus, there are like four different decks that have Honest. Maybe even five, but I think it's only like four and it always really annoyed me. Reverse of Arcadia, almost no one uses Honest. I think there's like one deck in Reverse of Arcadia that uses Honest. It's one of the reasons Reverse of Arcadia is my favorite. It's because I hate that card. Th this deck needs Stamping Destruction so bad. We like, we really need Stamping Destruction. I'm not gonna use Return to the Fifth Dimension here because I don't want to put Horus 8 back in my deck right now, because then I might draw him, which would be bad. I'm actually, like, I could win this turn, but I'm worried about these face downs, so I'm going to keep Valkyrie in my hand to be safe. Excuse me, does this card not do what I thought it did? Why didn't you destroy that? Oh, it's only face-up defense. I thought it was any monster in defense position. I must be thinking of a different card. That happens to me a lot. 
where I see a card and I'm like, oh yeah, I know the gist of what this does. And then I think I know exactly what it does, but I've confused it with a card that is the exact same, except it has like two different words in it. I think I'm thinking of like Sasuke Samurai 4 or something that is like, if this one attacks the face down, destroy it. Grandmaster Sasuke is like, only if it's face up, dude. You could always use Honest yourself. Yeah, but then I have to use Light decks. And there aren't many archetypes that are purely light based that I enjoy. Also, I like other archetypes more. It's like my least favorite argument is like, well, if it's broken, then you just use it too. And then I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll just both not have fun. There's a good solution. Die. What on earth are those face down cards? I wish I could see. I want to know. Like what four cards are in your deck that are completely worthless in that scenario?